In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically create interactive API documentation at the same time you publish an API. So currently, I'm logged in as the administrator, and I'm on the APIs page, and I can see that Acme Warehouse is currently disabled. Let's go ahead and enable it. And right now, it's prompting me to create interactive documentation by uploading a WADL file. So here's the Acme Warehouse WADL file. I'll open it to give you a look. It's based on the WADL specification. It has a number of endpoints, methods of access, and some doc tags as well, all of which will be pars in order to create our interactive doc. So I'll select that file, and I'll give it an endpoint within our documentation tree on the portal to store this. I'll select a EULA for it, our standard EULA, and I already have a plan assigned, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. Now you'll see the status changed to enabled, and we should see a new entry within the documentation tree for Acme Warehouse. Now you can see nothing is here right now because we're in published mode. In published mode shows you things that you want to appear live on the portal. Uh, currently, what we'd like to do is have this in the staging realm so we can take a look at that documentation, make sure it's generated correctly, and maybe even add some notes around it. So if I go to my staging, you can see that at the bottom, I have Acme Warehouse. If I click on that, you can see the interactive doc that's been generated. I'll just toggle all to collapse it, and you can see the endpoints that are available. If I expand that again, you can see how I can use each of these endpoints. In fact, here's the doc tag that got read in. Uh, here's some of the required values. All of this is available to me, generated automatically by the system by parsing that one file. Now, I might want to add a note in this case, just by editing the section and specifying the fact that authentication is not required. So I'll just make a note that authentication none. I'll go ahead and save that. And if I want to test out how this is working, I can go ahead and pick one of these endpoints, try it out. It generates me uh, some product IDs. I can grab those product IDs, come back up to get some product details based on that by pasting in that product ID. If I hit the Try It Out button, I'm returned with the actual name. This is a multi-contact harness that I know. So in this way, I can interact with that backend API, play with it interactively, and understand, get a better understanding of what this API actually does.